first of all, I'm very happy that Tony Romo is off the team. Uh, let me turn off this TV because it's real loud because I just heard the news. Tony Romo is not no longer Dallas Cowboy. He's just retired or saying that he might be a broadcast for CBS or Fox. Maybe there's no news, but I'm happy. And the reason why I'm happy because Tony Romo's off the books, $14 million cap space is free, and he's no longer Dallas Cowboy because he's too injury prone. Uh, Jerry Jones wasn't trying to pay $20 million to a backup. And also, it frees up a lot of space in the cap space. Now we get defensive players that Cowboys need. They can probably get Revis now. Who knows? Maybe Adrian Peterson changes his mind and go to the Cowboys. Maybe they can get rid of Alfred Morris or uh, uh, Darren McFadden for him. I don't care. That would be a huge upgrade. Um, this is great news. Uh, Tony Romo, God bless him, did his 10 years thing, but he can't do it anymore. And the fact that they change... Uh, directions where they want him great i'm so glad romo took you know what romo took matters on hands just retired say listen i'm tired of getting hit by these big dudes man i'd rather just uh walk away from the game health with good health still and do broadcasting and get paid um, uh, about six seven million dollars a year just to talk about football i would take that job in a heartbeat and he it can do he can do it for a long time. So honestly, he did the right decision for himself and his family. But also, he did a great favor with the uh, Cowboys organization. No more Dak Prescott looking over like, oh man, what I gotta play? Oh man, I might be benched because Tony Romo's right behind me. That's done and over. Um, now they gotta get a backup quarterback. I don't trust Kellen Moore. I don't trust that guy. He's not that good. Uh, they needed some solid backup. Um, um, now they can refocus on the defense. Definitely need an uh, upgrade on the D-line. D-line, didn't, that pass rush was terrible. Uh, Dave Irving was a flash in the pan. He was he was dominant in some games, but that playoff game, he was, he was a he was a Hugh Dini who disappeared. I don't know where he went. Then uh, we need some new linebackers. Sean Lee's great. Uh, I hope the guy from the uh, player, Jalen Smith, from last year, I hope that he plays very well for, uh, and comes back from his injury, but that's still a suspect, so we need new, new linebackers. And also, the, the whole secondary is horrible. Um, the only person I would keep was probably Byron, Byron Jones, but he didn't do that well either in that playoff game. He's the reason why the, uh, that third and 21 actually happened. He didn't cover well enough, but he's still young, so I'll give him a chance, but I'm glad Claiborne's gone. Carr is gone. He's not that good, and the two safety, Wilcox and Church, was terrible, so maybe they can get Darrell Revis. Maybe, and honestly, I think they should trade their first-round pick for Richard Sherman, because it seemed like the Seahawks is tired of him and his antics, so I'd rather take Richard Sherman, because, hey, he got Super Bowl pedigree in him, so I'd rather take him. So I'm just happy that Tony Romo has gone. God bless you, man. I hope your health is good, but that guy was one hit away from a wheelchair, and I am not want to see that man i football is just a game you know i love football to death like i live breathe eat and sleep with that stuff man but i would never 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 want to see tony Romo in a wheelchair or permanently hurt that, that's why and it was getting to that point and i'm glad he's not wearing another uniform and it would haunt jerry jones forever if he if he went to the texas or broncos he wins the super bowl um what is he good enough talent wise yeah but his body isn't so i think it's a win-win decision um and also i'm glad that they made the decision that he made that decision because Dak Prescott is better than Tony Romo right now. He took the Cowboys just as far as Tony Romo. He's healthier, he's younger, and he makes more accurate decisions with the football. Tony Romo was a turnover machine, like turnover at the wrong time. Um, it he made goofy decisions. Uh, too many eight and eight and eight and eight uh, seasons, two playoff wins. That's not good enough. We didn't even make it to the NFC Championship. So I don't get the glorification of Tony Romo. I think he was pretty good, not great, not a Hall of Famer. He's in a, he's going to be in the class of Drew Bledsoe and maybe uh, Donovan McNabb. Even though Donovan McNabb comes a lot more than Tony Romo, but he's in, he's going to be in that class, like borderline Hall of Famer, but not really. If he gets in, it's going to be a long time. It's going to be like a ten year wait, and that's the truth. Anyways, that's my take. Tony, I'm retired. I'm happy, and I'm glad it's over.